Now since iOS 13 has been available on the market for quite some time now, I have 25 awesome hidden features, tips and tricks that I want to share with you guys all in 200 seconds or less. So without further ado, start the timer and let's get started. When taking a screenshot, if you actually force press right here, you could actually quickly send it to whoever you're trying to send it to. And then of course, when you click on it, you have all these editing tools down here. Then when you take a screenshot on Safari or other supported applications, you may also take a full screenshot of the entire page, like so, and it'll save via PDF. Whenever you need to scan a document, if you force touch on notes, you could quickly scan a document like so. When on Safari or another application, if you're all the way down, you can actually press and grab the little scroll bar to go all the way up. You may also tap the very top part of the screen to go all the way up. If you're coming from Android, swipe key is also supported. You may also press and hold the spacebar to move your cursor, or you can actually tap on the cursor and move it manually. When using the keyboard single-handedly, you may find it easier if you hold down the little globe and move it towards one side of the screen. Now it's easier to reach with your thumb. Adjusting the volume with the HUD, it's faster if you press on it and actually move the volume manually. The fastest way to change audio source is by bringing down the control center, press the little icon, press and hold it, and tap on a device you want to change the audio source to. When switch between Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, if you press on hold on this part, press on hold again, you may select a different Wi-Fi or Bluetooth source, even turn on your personal hotspot right here, quickly bypassing the need to go into your settings. If you accidentally record a video in slow motion, you can actually edit it so they can actually allow it to play in real time instead. On iMessage, it's easier to select messages by tapping with two fingers. You could delete or forward. When sending a photo via iMessage, if you tap the effect, you have access to scribbles, text, or even emojis. Running late to see somebody, you can actually share your ETA as long as you're using Apple Map by simply tap the share ETA and just select their contact information and they're gonna get it. In Safari, if you open up your tabs and force press, you could actually rearrange them if you wanna leave the important stuff all the way on top. And well, if you don't, you can actually force press right here to close all your tabs. Want to quickly disable Face ID without having to reset it? If you simply tap the volume up, volume down, hold the power button, tap cancel, Face ID is disabled and will resume back as soon as you enter your passcode. A hidden feature if you go into your settings, go into accessibility and go into Face ID and attention. If you enabled Heptic on a successful authorization, whenever your iPhone successfully unlocks with your Face ID, you'll get a Heptic feedback. If you want to, you can scroll through pages by simply tapping either the bottom left or the bottom right side of your phone screen. And if you want to quickly go to the home home page, swipe up. Have a quick mathematical question or something you want to quickly ask Siri without verbally having to say anything? If you go to this part, you can actually type the question right here and uh, Siri will answer silently. If you're constantly being bombarded with a bunch of telemarketers, if you go in your settings, go down to phone, enabled silent unknown callers. Now, whenever these telemarketers give you a call, they're immediately gonna be sent directly to voicemail. If you launch a standard camera application, you can actually scan QR codes and it'll take you to the URLs. And for 26, as an added bonus, if you actually bring down the control center, first touch on the brightness, you can actually disable not only dark mode, but also night shift and true tone if you ever need to. And there we have it, that was a speed run of all my favorite useful tips and tricks, some hidden features that I find myself using day to day on my iPhone 11 Pro. If you guys found this video useful and informative, don't just hit the like button or get subscribed. Watch these other two videos right here. I'd say done a speed run of everything there is to know about the Apple Watch on Watch OS 6. And then this video over here is all the cool features, my favorite features that I find myself using day to day on the AirPods Pro. So definitely do check out these two videos out, but thank you guys once again for watching. Take care and I'll catch you all in the next one. See ya.